This is Dee with Pretty and Things, and today I'm taking you inside my home. I'm going to show you how I furnish and decorate my living space on a dime. So welcome to my home, because today I'm going to show you how I ball on a budget. Much too complex, too complex, much too complex, too complex, too, too, too complex. This is Dee with Pretty and Things, and today I am so excited to take you inside my home to show you exactly how I ball on a budget. Today I'm going to show you my living room. Um, I decorated my living room recently with items I purchased from a consignment store. And I'm going to show you those six. I, I got six items, you guys, including a sofa, a sectional sofa, for $450. I mean, unbelievable, high-quality stuff. You know, I was hesitant to purchase, use furniture, especially a sofa, but I am so happy with what I found. I had it clean. It looks great, and I am so excited to show it to you. Um, I look forward to your feedback and your thoughts and um, your, feed, your ideas on decorating at your home and what you think of me decorating mine. So without further ado, let's get into this tour. Okay guys, let's get the show on the road. Um, this is my front door of my home. Actually, we're going to take a look outside so y'all can show you guys exactly what is up in Chicago land. It is cold as a mug here today. So welcome to winter in Chicago. Okay, so first item I'm going to show you is this vase, vase. Now, this is Chicago people, we say vase, um, that I got from, I think, Family Dollar. I've had this for a long time. It was originally black, but if you watch my spray paint segment, you know I painted it nickel. So as I move closer, this table is one of six items that I purchased from a consignment store. Um, and it was hand painted. They have a design artist there. And when I came in, she was actually painting this. And I just love the design of it. And I got this and all six items for a steal. Okay. Beautiful, very inexpensive. So next, I'm going to show you the walls. Now the sconces are from Brylane's home, and I've had those for a while. I think they were like six dollars. It was something insanely inexpensive. And that print, this picture is from a thrift store. You guys, I got that picture for I think three dollars at a thrift store. Matches perfectly with my decor. Moving down is this antique table. This is item two of the six that I purchased from the consignment store. You guys, I know that this table is very expensive and again, I got a great deal. My advice also, you guys, when you go to your consignment stores, go to them in the affluent areas because people with money, you know, donate and give away nicer things. That's just common sense. So this little pan here, this little bucket here, I got from a thrift store for $3. Candles are from Pier 1. This picture here, it's my dearly departed father, rest in peace. This little vase decoration is from Dollar Tree. The vase is from Dollar Tree. Um, there's little coins, the little beads on the inside from Dollar Tree and these fake flowers and that little piece in the back all from Dollar Tree. This whole thing costs like five bucks. See? Very inexpensive yet cute, I think. Okay, so moving on, moving on, moving on. Okay, this is one of my end tables. Now, if you guys watch my Ballin' on a Budget series, you've seen this before. 
I spray painted this table and these lamp, that lamp, this is one of two lamps I got. It came in a set from J.C. Penney. And I will link the lamps below. I'm not, I don't remember what they cost. I think they were like 69 bucks or something like that for the pair. Um, and I got it like a discount on it for like $10, $15. Because, you know, JCPenney always has those good sales. So um, if you watch my Ball in the Budget series, you know you've seen these candles before. These little cupcake candles. Yellow mason jar candles and this little flower arrangement I put together. The vase is from Dollar Tree and so are the flowers. That cost all of three dollars. Okay, moving on, moving on. Okay, you guys, so this is my sofa. And this sofa, you guys, it's a small sectional. Believe it or not, I got this sofa for $100. And it is custom made. $100 bucks for this at that same consignment store. This is piece number three. And, I mean, I love it. It's a three-piece sectional. Those two pieces separate $100 hundred dollars you guys that's table this table is the fourth piece that I got from the consignment store this table you guys it is beautiful antique love it so well made and it's just I like that sort of distressed look as well okay the rug, this area rug, this, I got this area rug from Amazon. And I will link that below. And Amazon Prime, you know I'm all about that Amazon Prime life. Imagine how much it would have cost to ship this, this rug. Amazon Prime, free shipping. Guys, I wish I had Smell-O-Vision in here. This candle I got from Meyer just the other day. Look at that. It is pumpkin cupcake, and you see that price? $4.99. This is regular, like a $30 candle. Okay, so let me move in. Yeah, I love my decorative pillows. These pillow I got from, I believe, Brylane Home. No, you know what? I got I ordered these on um, eBay. Actually, my brother picked out this these pillows my brother picked these out this pillow I got in a consignment store so the um, gold and black and white pillows my brother picked out for me on eBay the throw is from Walmart that was like eight dollars and as I pan back one of my absolute favorite gifts ever is this mirror this is a gift from my brother Angelo. It's beautiful. I'm just, I love it so much. Moving on, there, these are more throw pillows. And that white throw is from Walmart. That was 20 bucks. Player. Yeah. Not bad, right? Very inexpensive. Next is the second end table. Sorry, you guys, about this glare. I didn't, I mean, the sun is really high, and I have these really high windows, and that's where it's coming from. I have it, I have my curtains closed, but nothing I can do about that window there. My apologies. This is the um, second end table and lamp that I got from JCPenney. You watch, falling on a budget. You know you've seen these before as well as this end table. This is another vase and flowers that I got from Family Dollars. Okay. Moving on, moving on. This tall lamp, I love it, it's so cool. Check out the base of it. And you guys, 
this I've shown this before in one of my ball in the budget videos. I think I'm actually going to move this upstairs. I'm going to spray paint this again and move it upstairs to my master bedroom, which I am also redecorating and will show you at some point. Okay, this picture I got from uh, Family Dollars. It was $10. The candles are from Pier 1. Um, candles are from Pier 1. This is a picture of me and my mommy, my college graduation. Okay, moving on. And it's tough, you guys. Again, I apologize for the glare. I know it's tough to see these curtains, but they are eggplant. And I got them from a J.C. Penney, I believe. This is what they look like up close. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Eggplant. And last but not least, you guys, is this poker set for my fireplace that I got from, I believe, Goodwill. I know that this was only $8. Let me move in closer because this was an absolute steal. I could not believe it. It was only 8 bucks, brand new at Goodwill, and it matches perfectly with my fireplace. Don't you think? Also, guys, don't sleep on the Goodwill. Do not sleep on Goodwill. You see these cakes? These cakes I got from the Goodwill for $4.99. They are normally like $25. They're mostly mo. I'll link them down, uh, down uh, below because um, you can get them at Target, but they're like a lot more at Target. I got these brand new, brand new from Goodwill for five dollars. Yes, baby, this is how we ball on a budget. Doo -doo. All right, guys, so this is a final look at my humble home. I hope you guys enjoyed your little tour and seeing how I furnish and decorate it. I also hope you guys got some good tips and we'll do the same. Why pay more than you have to, guys? Why pay more? Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tour of my home. Um, if you did, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Okay. This is my first time doing any sort of a vlogging, so if you liked it and you want me to do more, please let me know. Put it in the comments person of the people and I will try to accommodate your request as best I can. So thanks again for watching and until next time, 